Good morning everybody, this is Mr. Dakota from St. Paul High School in Worcester, Mass. This video is for my 8th grade pre-algebra class. Today we're going to be talking about the Pythagorean Theorem. Now the Pythagorean Theorem is a formula that you use when you know two out of the three sides of a right triangle. Okay, notice that I said right triangle. This will only work with a triangle that has a 90 degree symbol in it. Okay, so it will not work on any other type of triangle. Again, a right triangle only, okay? When you have two out of the three sides. Okay, the formula is A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Where A and B are the legs. So if you'll notice here on this triangle that these are what you call the legs of a triangle, okay? The side opposite the 90 degree angle, which is always the largest side, is called the hypotenuse. It is always equal to the hypotenuse, the formula. Regardless of where if you're missing a leg, well, the hypotenuse, you always set the equation equal to the hypotenuse, okay? So, and this will also require the use of a calculator, okay? So the cell phone has this particular button on it. This is called the radical sign or also known as the square root sign. You will need this in order to complete these, okay? So, let's take a look at here. I'll give a couple examples, but here's an example for you. So again, we have two out of the three sides. We're looking for the third side. This is a right triangle. It is always equal to the hypotenuse. That is the side opposite the 90 degree angle, which is the largest side. So I would do five squared plus 12 squared is equal to x squared. Okay, just as the formula states. Now, when you square something that is a number times itself, not the number times two. So five squared is not 10. Five squared, in fact, is 25. Okay, plus 12 times 12, which is 144, is equal to x squared. Okay, now we need to add these. 25 and 144 is 169, is equal to x squared. Now, this is where on a calculator, we're going to have to go through and take the square root of both sides. Okay, the square root of x squared is just x. The square root of 169 is 13. Okay? 13 times 13 is equal to 169. Let's try another one. Okay, again, this is going to be a right triangle. You know two out of the three sides. I'm looking for the third side. So again, two out of the three sides, right triangle, looking for the third side. The Pythagorean theorem states the sum of the sides squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. So it is 6 squared plus 8 squared is equal to x squared. 6 squared is 36 plus 64 is equal to x squared. 36 and 64 is equal to 100 is equal to x squared. We need to take the square root of both sides. 10 is equal to x. Okay? Again, a couple different things. You need the square root sign on a calculator. If you take your iPhone calculator and you turn it so it's a landscape, you'll see this symbol to the left-hand side. Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. a and b are the legs. It doesn't make a difference if you have six or eight first. Three plus five, five plus three, you get the same answer, so it doesn't make a difference. What is important is that you always set it equal to the hypotenuse, regardless of where um, the x is. Let me show you one more example. Okay, this one's a little bit more advanced. Well, let's take a look at this example here. Okay, this is 15 centimeters. This is 17 centimeters. This is x centimeters. Okay, let's take a look. So, if I go through and write this down, again, it's always equal to the hypotenuse. So it would be x squared plus 15 squared is equal to 17 squared. So that's x squared plus 225 is equal to 289. Okay? So I have to subtract the 225 in order to get the x squared by itself. So x squared is equal to 64. I'm going to take the square root of both sides x is equal to 8 centimeters. Okay, again, 
Regardless of where the x is, it's always equal to the hypotenuse. Okay? As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you and have a good day.